Live. Uh oh. I don't show any sound. Live. Hello. Check. Check. Live. This is one for the record. I'm Diana. And today is August 27th, 2012. It is Monday. Monday evening. And here is your update for today. Seems like uh, we're running really, really slow. I think it's because of the hurricane. That's what I'm thinking. But all right. Uh, Dutch Sense has reported that uh, I was going to play him, but somehow I got knocked off. So um, Dutch Sense has uh, reported that the uh, Hurricane Isaac is heading towards the sinkhole. Heads up with the butane and and whatever else is over there, the re radioactive uh, uh, materials. It did pass uh, Space Coast right now. It seems like it passed us. It's been raining continuously and finally stopped about two hours ago. So now it's heading north. Let's see what I have here. Okay, yes, I, I totally lost Dutch Sense. So that's not going to, I can't do anything about that. Alrighty then. So, the 2012 clock. There are 115 days, 8 hours, and 55 minutes and 20 seconds before December 21st, 2012, 11, 11 Greenwich Mean Time. Now, moving on. Heads up, California. There is a lot of a swarm of quakes in San Diego. Also, there's been also a, a series of moderate quakes, including several magnitude 5.0s and above, were felt as far as Orange County and east into Arizona, south into Mexico, according to the USGS survey. Alrighty then. Also, we are running very slow. I apologize. Powerful, se powerful 7.4 magnitude earthquake strikes off the coast of El Salvador. And that's all, seems like it's all lined up. Let's see here. Also, Source of loud boom in California foothills, a mystery. That was yesterday. I don't remember reporting on that. Massive typhoon, Balavin slams Okinawa, Japan, and heads for Korea's. Alrighty then. Moving on. We'll go into uh, the watchers. Watching the world. I know this has part of this has to be because of where I'm located. So the internet is just buzzing because of that hurricane. So we're moving pretty slow, but that's okay. I enjoy your company. Alrighty then. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, the watchers. Let's go. Alrighty then. Scientists warn Auckland, New Zealand is unprepared for volcanic eruption under the city. Also, California earthquake swarm, August 26th, also August 27th now. I was watching CNN. They said there's been over 400 earthquakes in the last uh, 24 hours. Tropical storm. Isaac, last Florida Keys heading towards the northern Gulf Coast. Okay, there's nothing really new. Depending. Everyone's watching the hurricane. Let's go into E&E &E News. This might be a short one. Please be prepared. 
keep your cell phone it's torrential rain keep your cell phone in a ziploc bag that's what I say if you can so it doesn't get, get wet also any important things that might get wet and destroyed see if you can ziplock them here we go E&E &E news energy news we'll go into Fukushima And then what I'll do, I'll try to scan the internet, see if there's anything else on this hurricane. Gunderson on gamma rays implies rubble was activated by neutrons or that activation products like cobalt 60 are in rubble. Interesting. That's what they say. Sound like me now. Interesting. Hmm. So heads up with the debris. Notice that they're not talking about the debris coming in. So in the rubble, cobalt 60. Don't go uh, treasure hunting in the middle of that debris. It's probably irradiated, all right? Five weeks later, TEPCO begins checking fuel assemblies. It moved from Unit 4 pool. Says no major deformation so far. Japanese officials report concerns about gamma rays being emitted from Fukushima plant debris. Pacific codfish shipments 200 miles from Fukushima suspended. High levels of radioactive cesium found. We might have to stop. Don't don't eat anything out of the Pacific now. That's what I'm. That's my opinion. Physician International Medical Community must immediately assist J Japanese. Radioactive elements reconcentrate in various bodily organs. Yesterday, strong NHK, strong concerns over 36% of Fukushima kids having thyroid lumps. Now testing outside Fukushima to begin. Alrighty then. Let's check uh, California, U.S., Canada, U.S., Canada. Forbes. Untold numbers of endangered whales intervene in California nuke plant testing. Untold numbers of endangered whales intervene in California nuke plant testing that's not, not I, I don't know what that's about what nuke plant testing intervene WSJ market watch cancer was bound to happen to animal grazing five miles downwind of Connecticut nuclear power plant what kind of animal is there downwind from Connecticut nuclear plant? Heads up! I don't know what's down there. I don't know if that means cows, sheep, whatever. Heads up on that. Governor says more boom being deployed in sinkhole. Winds up to 100 miles per hour expected in area. All monitors within community being removed. Texas brine in hurricane mode. Governor says more boom being deployed in sinkhole. B O O M. Winds up to a hundred miles per hour expected in area. All monitors within community being removed. Heads up. Texas Brian in hurricane mode. Also today, latest forecast, uh, Isaac heading towards sinkhole, now under hurricane warning, storm to sit over area for days. Ooh, that's so bad. Sinkhole, Assumption Parish called on to evacuate ahead of storm. 
official website. More information will follow. All right, so Assumption Parish called on to evacuate ahead of storm. Official website. More information will follow. Yes, I would evacuate anywhere near that sinkhole. Miles from that sinkhole. Get out of there. It's not worth it. Bad sign. AP. Heavy rains reopen Baltimore sinkhole. Louisiana declares state of emergency. Tells 50,000 to evacuate as hurricane warnings issued. Yesterday. Helicopters to measure radiation levels throughout San Francisco Bay area next week. Well, they're all measuring. We, we got to see the reports. Alrighty then. This is a short report, so everyone can uh, can prepare. Let me see if I can see anything else on Hurricane Isaac. Might try to go into a uh, Dutch sense. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Let me go into this and see if there's anything else. Let me lower this. No, this is not in here. Let's see what else. No, I really don't see. I'm looking for updates. Let's go up here. Here's one hurricane. Okay, let me see if I can find something new on here. Oh, I like this guy, what he's saying. Listen to this. His name is William Carrington. I'll, if I turn the camera around, I think it's going to cut me off somehow now. Now they're figuring out how to cut off people. But listen to this guy. This is from yesterday. He's out of Kentucky. Oh, he has a commercial. See, I don't have any commercials. So, I'm trying to be commercial free. So if you'd like to sponsor me and and go to the donate link for PayPal, that is much appreciated. So far I have no donations. <laughs> so if anyone would like to donate, maybe I can get some better equipment too. We can move a little faster. Am I ready? Whew. Busy night and day. Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? I'm Bill Carrington. Uh, the reason for this video is because of the uh, recent events that transpired with a uh, tropical storm, Isaac. I have a lot of uh, friends who are on Facebook. I also have a, uh, a lot of friends who are volunteers for different organizations. And also uh, family members of those uh, that are out there. I do have family members that are down in uh, around Florida uh, that live also in, around the uh, family members and friends who live around the, the southern coastline of the United States. Uh, real quick, uh, let me get a drink off this. Mm. Take it for me. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, real quick, I want to show you a map. Thank you. This is a Randy McNally map. And uh, my information that I've ever seen is coming from the uh, Weather Channel. Uh, so the information that, that I've gotten is off the NBC's uh, the Weather Channel. Anyway, right through here is where the, today's Sunday. Okay, Sunday. It's around noon Sunday, and right around this area, I'll try to right around, around where tropical storm Isaac is right now. Now it's yeah. coming right through here. The airport at the uh, down in the Florida Keys, the airport there has been closed. Uh, there's no flights in or out for right now. The storm is dumping rain and uh, some some wind right through this area. Uh, now, I think up around, there's warnings even out around Fort Myers. I believe I heard that on the weather channel. Now, as it goes through, they're 
what uh, the information that I've received and what I've been reading on. Can we see the map on this? The storms are passing through, and they're going to look like it's starting to bear back further toward the west than what they were thinking at first. So between right here around New Orleans, this is Louisiana, all this area from southern, southern eastern Louisiana, Mississippi, lower, lower Mississippi, lower Alabama, uh, on the uh, western, southwest Georgia, the panhandle of Florida, right through this general area, right through here, ladies and gentlemen, right in this area, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and the panhandle of Florida, you need to be preparing now. Because once Tropical Storm Isaac, any moment, probably later on in the afternoon, if he, when he steps up a little bit further and gets in this warm water, it's in the Gulf, he, he will probably become a hurricane then. That's probably what they're going to say. They're going to call him a hurricane. I, I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm just saying, because he's starting to pick up. He's down here right now, and he looks like he's getting bigger. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. From what I'm seeing on the TV, he looks like he's getting bigger. So, um, I would say once he gets over here, they're even predicting that once he comes and hits the land right into this area, right through where my three fingers are, right through this area, if he, once he comes in, we're going to fill it even all the way up here into Arkansas, uh, from uh, southwest Arkansas, uh, all the way up to the Boot Hill of Missouri, probably southern Illinois, western Kentucky, and uh, throughout Tennessee. And like I say, once, if he comes in here, you're going to have the straight line winds coming up. They'll be coming up through this area. Probably, uh, there'll probably be uh, some flash flooding. Could be, like I say, don't know yet. We're just kind of estimating and debating, aren't we? They are. I'm just informing the ones that, uh, that watch my video. And also up through here, around where I'm from, up here in Kentucky. So uh, whatever you do, you have time right now. you got time right now to get prepared. Excuse me. Uh, Start to go ahead and, uh, like I say, uh, everybody and all the information I've gotten, the organization that I that I volunteer for, uh, they uh, also say uh, make make you a disaster kit. That, the one I'm with that calls it a go kit. Uh, make a, prepare that away by by having water that can uh, that you can have water a uh, gallon of water per person per day up to 72 hours, which is three days. So. Each person, if you got, if you look and see how many people we got in your family, each person is going to have to have a gallon of water per day, all the way up to you, uh, till this is over. So uh, you need to think about that and stock up now. You also need food, food, water, and medications. Uh, a lot of people always say, make sure you get enough medication to get you uh, through uh, 72 hours. Uh, if you always say, carry enough, and some other organizations and people that talk. Try to get you enough uh, enough medications right now to lead you up for at least seven days. That way, if if helps need it and helps coming your way, you'll have a, you'll have that you'll have that kind of medication stocked up and ready to go. Uh, also, you need to go ahead and start making preparations with your neighbors, your families, your coworkers, your church groups. Contact them. Get phone numbers of the of your pastor, your deacons, the ladies of your church. And get their phone numbers, get them written down. Also, uh, talk to your neighbors. Find it, you come up with a plan just in case maybe one of you have to, one family has to evacuate and go to the other family's home. That way, uh, in the burden, there won't be so much burden on one family. Make sure you carry your, your go kit. Some people call it the bug out kit, uh, a disaster kit. Whatever you call it, just make sure you have that in, in ready with you so when you leave, you have that you have that with you, so uh, you're not putting such a big burden on everybody else. That, uh, like I say, if you're going to come in as a team, um, some of your churches become shelters. Some of your schools do. Check with your area just in case to see what your area has got going. You can check with your local police. I say check with your local uh, with the teachers of your churches, uh, your schools. Find out who is who, where the shelter is going to be. Uh, check with the uh, organizations that works with disasters, you know, the American Cross, you can check with them and see where they're going to be. You can call them and check with them now. Uh, like I say, if you, if you need to get your windows or anything boarded up in that area I've shown you on the map, you might want to consider it. You might want to think about it real seriously and get prepared. Uh, this, like I say, if once this comes, gets in the, in the Gulf of Mexico, 
more than likely, more than likely, is going to pick up steam. And if I see, let's say it's a tropical storm, if you get there and he starts picking up steam and draws that energy, draws his energy from the Gulf, uh, there could be a lot of damage once he comes inland. Uh, so uh, if, you, uh, if you know of anybody, you can call. You know, if, if any of your friends or family members are on vacation right now, and uh, just give them a call and say, hey, give me a heads up. You do know about what's getting ready to come your way. Uh, I've been watching this, uh, this tropical storm, Isaac. And uh, it looks like it's getting ready to step off into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, like I say, uh, to uh, all the uh, first responders and volunteers of, of other organizations, I have worked with, uh, I have worked beside some really awesome volunteers. And uh, not only with one organization, but with, with different organizations. And uh, my hand off to each and every one of you. Uh, and I praise you for uh, a job well done. Uh, I know that a lot of you have been put alert. I have also, but at the present time, I, can, I can't jet out of here. I've, I've got family things I need to take care of here in Kentucky, so I can't, I can't shoot out of here. But uh, those of you that's, uh, that's also volunteered and, and where we've worked together, uh, you're in my prayers. I know that you, you uh, right now, by now, you've already been informed of what your mission is and what your duties will be once you're at, at the location that you're going to be at. Is it the wrap? Okay. Uh, so whatever you do, like I say, get together, stay strong, you're in my prayers, and I wish I could be there with you, maybe in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, whatever you do, get with your family, get with your friends, co-workers, your church groups, your schools, come up with a plan, get ready now. Get ready now, don't hesitate, get ready now, get you, build you a kit, a disaster kit, a gold kit, a bug out kit, whatever you want to call it, just get it ready. It's time. It's time now. It's, it's serious. It's time. And uh, Isaac's coming toward us. He's already hitting part of the U.S. now. Like I say, he's down there as a tropical storm uh, around the, the Key West of Florida. So, yeah, he just passed anyway, the like space say, uh, Get prepared, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you all. Pray for one another. Let's just hope the winds will die down. We need the rain in, in the United States. We do need the rain. But we don't need the destruction. Not right now. We don't. Uh, financially, we don't. Okay. Hang on. So, uh, I'd like to say, if you can uh, do what you can to do, listen to your radio. If you have a, uh, you need to check and see. Make sure you got your uh, batteries, enough batteries for your flashlights. Uh, make sure your phones are charged up. Make sure if you're going to take a laptop computer, make sure it's charged up. And, uh, like I say, once this hit, you want to kind of save your, your, uh, your uh, battery power, so you may have to turn your phone on and off every so often, so the way it saves it. Uh, let's say you may have to go 72 hours with that cell phone. So, uh, and that's going to maybe end up being your own communications, and cell phone towers could go down. But what do you do? Stay together, stay strong, and remember also to pray. But uh, God bless you all. And I think, uh, like I say, we will get through this. Uh, just uh, uh, let's hope there's no loss of life. I've heard that. Uh, from what I have heard, uh, there was uh, four people lost their lives in Haiti. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, four people lost their lives in Haiti, and I think one in uh, Central and uh, Domingo Republic. Guess what it was? Okay, so uh, if I mispronounced anything, please forgive me. But so that's a total of what I've heard of five people so far that's lost their lives. So uh, whatever you do, uh, come together as a team. Check on your neighbor. Check on the elderly. Make sure they got their medication and food supply. And if you can take them in, take them in. Watch the children. Talk with everybody. Keep everybody, keep everybody talking and communicating. Give each other a little, a little job to do a chore. If uh, that's when it, if it does hit, remember. And in the days to come afterwards, you got to get organized. Give each person a duty. Give each person a duty, whether it's just cleaning up or, or cooking. Or whatever, just give each person's got to have a duty. Once, if, if each person's got something to do, that keeps your mind occupied, and that way it keeps you from being depressed. Okay, that's a wrap. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> they're waving at me. I got to go. Like I say, uh, thank you so much. I wish you the best. God bless. That was William Carrington, C A R R I N G T O N. That's his web, his um, YouTube channel. It's two words on his YouTube channel, William K.
Carrington. All right, let me check one more thing for you. I like that he said, give everyone a do duty to do. Everybody should have a job to do. Be organized. See, I never mentioned that. That's a good one. Let me see if there's an update on where it's at. Not much coming out. I think everyone's just getting ready. Is what's going on. Let's put it at Hurricane Isaac. I'm just looking for some more. Uh, I had footage, but it, it wasn't. It wasn't that. It didn't show really hardly anything. I think that's going to be it for tonight. Let me see if I can get anything else. We're searching. 11 hours ago, daily woo. That's an 11 hours ago. There's nothing really mo more updated. I don't see anything updated yet. Here's five hours ago. What is this? Breaking news TSA. Wow, this is coming out of... No, Hurricane is direct hit. Okay, seven hours ago, Hurricane Isaac now on direct path to strike New Orleans, Louisiana. Tuesday hit. All right, hopefully everyone's being prepared. That's it. That's all I got here. Let's see. Seven hours ago. Here we go. And this is from CNN. Oh. Tuesday. Okay, CNN's reporting that. Alrighty then. All right. One day down, one to go, basically. They're saying Tuesday, sometime Tuesday. Be prepared. All right. Take care, and I'll see you again tomorrow on the flip side. And in California, be prepared. All righty then.